These three animals lived in peace and harmony until people interfered with their DNA and turned them into fierce mutants who did something terrible. Hello everyone this is a brief mic and you're watching my new review, so I won't detain you, I'm off. All events unfold in space. Under an intimidating melody, we are shown the Athena orbital station. The station is in critical condition. It was destroyed due to the fact that experiments were carried out on it with crossing the DNA of different living beings. As a result of the mutation, the rat turns into a ferocious monster and kills all the team members. The last surviving scientist is looking for a capsule to save and having found it, the center orders her to save the mutagen or does not activate the capsule and the scientist will not be able to escape. Putting her in a hopeless position. With great fear, she returns to the laboratory and finds the capsules, and begins to transfer them to her container. When she's finished, a mutant appears behind her, and she hurries back to the capsule. She manages to close the hatch and leave the station in an escape capsule, having managed to save several containers with mutagen. The mutant who almost caught up with her dies from the explosion. Upon entering the atmosphere, the capsule explodes due to the fact that the mutant rat managed to damage the glass, and the debris falls to the ground. After the death of the capsule, we are shown a group of people in the jungle. Get acquainted, this huge dude with a bald spot on his head is called Davis, he is a primatologist. He and his team are making a detour around the reserve. Arriving at the place where gorillas live, Davis shows how he communicates with a gorilla. The male's name is Pavo and so Davis calms Pavo, but then a large albino gorilla appears. And suddenly the gorilla, Pavo, starts to get nervous, everyone froze, but Connor, a member of the group, starts running away out of fear, a gorilla runs after him, Connor falls and a gorilla runs up to him, but George knocks over Pavo and saves Connor. George, this is an albino gorilla. She and Davis have a special relationship. George knows sign language and therefore jokes about Davis saying that he saved him, but Davis denies everything. After what happened, the girl offers a drink to Davis, but he refuses, as if he has a case and he can't. His friend tells him that he has gone crazy, that he refused a pretty girl, but Davis does not listen and goes home. At night, some meteorites fell in three parts of the national park, these were containers with mutagen. One of them fell into the park after a pack of wolves. One of them came up to the container and sniffed, infected with a toxic substance. This also happened to George, only the container fell to them in the reserve, and the third, last one fell into the water where it was swallowed by a crocodile. Arriving at the park, Davis learns that George has killed a grizzly bear and is in his enclosure. As it turned out, it almost doubled overnight. Jonas visits the nature reserve with the Garrels, where the team found a device with a mutagen that fell last night. The founder of that station is furious that they have lost tens of billions. But his partner calms him down, saying that the mutagen samples fell to the ground. But they don't know that they are damaged and that the animals have already received a dose. A group of mercenaries arrives at the place and reports that there is no mutagen content. And that apparently the wolf killed the whole pack. Davis calmed the gorilla, put him in a cage, he begs his colleague not to do anything about George, he agrees that he will take his time. After a while, due to aggression, he grows another meter, the gorilla breaks out of the cage and runs away, our hero runs out into the street too and tries to calm him down. The cops arrived, but the guns were removed by accident, but a sniper flew in by helicopter, he shoots and puts gorilla to sleep with darts with sleeping pills. At this time, the owners of the corporation, who conducted the same experiments in space, having learned about the mutant wolf, send professional hunters in order to catch the infected wolf. The mercenaries, flying past the coniferous forest, carefully inspect it. Thinking it's not a big wolf, the helicopter lowers the guys to hunt. Trying to kill him, the wolf kills them all one by one. That leaves their main boss, ordering a helicopter to shoot at a wolf, but it does not stop him and he jumps, clinging to him and pulling a man out of there. The helicopter crashes and he returns to that boss again, taking his life. After learning about the incident, a former employee of the corporation, Kate Caldwell, meets with Okoy to clarify the situation, but they are both taken away by security personnel. It turns out that CIA agent Russell is behind this, whose goal is to bring the Wyden family to light because of their manipulation of chemical weapons. Kate, as a former employee, should help with this. Claire Wyden, after learning that the mercenaries she sent were killed, she is always disappointed that they did not complete the task. She climbs the Willis Tower in Chicago and activates a powerful ultrasonic antenna, luring all three monsters to her with the help of ultrasound, which is embedded in the DNA of mutants. According to Claire, the military will destroy the attack, 
and she and her brother will get the remains of monsters soaked in mutagen. They decide to transport George on a military transport plane, but Davis says that it is dangerous that the gorilla will grow twice and destroy the plane. And along the way, the antenna signal turns George into an uncontrollable monster, which causes him to break out and destroy the plane, throwing people to the sides and transport begins to fall. Davis manages to save Kate and Russell by putting a parachute on both of them, for which Russell is very grateful to him. They fly out of the plane and open their parachutes. The plane crashes in a cornfield, along with a gorilla, but George does not die because of the mutagen, but goes to Chicago. Feds come to the founders of the company and begin searching their laboratory and everything they did. Russell, Kate and Davis discover that George is not dead, then the turntables arrive and they are taken to a military base from which they track the movement of monsters. Davis says it's necessary to evacuate the city, but the general thinks it's not necessary. The wolf, teaming up with the gorilla, kills the military sent by the general, thinking that he will cope with the mutants. But having coped with the military, they approach the city and continue to move. The general gives the order to evacuate Chicago and pull military equipment there. Davis and Kate decide to go to the city themselves, because in a skyscraper, in a laboratory, they found out that there is a certain substance there that calms the aggression of creatures. After cutting off the guards, Davis, along with Kate, head to the helicopter, where Russell meets them, asking about their plan, he helps them, gives them a phone for communication. And he remains to observe the progress of the operation. Monsters, breaking into the city, go to the goal, destroying everything in their path. Soon a third monster appears from Lake Michigan. At first the guys thought it was a submarine, but it turned out to be the same crocodile that also ate the mutagen and became gigantic in size, he turned out to be the most powerful of the mutants. The general orders to throw all his forces at the crocodile, but all to no avail. Due to the hopeless situation, the general gives the order to drop several powerful nuclear bombs on the combat area, completely ignoring Russell's arguments. Kate and Davis land on the helicopter pad of a skyscraper. They make their way to the laboratory and find an antidote, taking it with them, they are met by a brother and sister who are in a mood to be born, noticing them on the cameras. Threatening, they take away the antidote, shooting Davis and leading the girl to certain death. But Gorilla managed to climb the skyscraper from behind and in a rage begins to beat the antenna. A wolf and a crocodile began to climb the skyscraper in the same way. From what the surrender begins to collapse. Jason and the doctor frame that evil girl by putting the antidote in her bag and feeding it to Gorilla. But the antidote doesn't work quickly. And Wyden, Claire's brother, runs downstairs, where he is met by Russell, who suddenly came to the rescue. Russell promises he won't arrest him for all his dirty business with his sister. He takes away the computer with all the data and lets the guy go outside, where a giant stone immediately falls on him. The surrender begins to fall and Jason, getting on the plane, launches it to stay in the air when falling. Willis Tower collapses, and Davis, using a helicopter, rescues himself and Kate again. When George returns to his normal personality and is no longer a threat, he and Davis stay behind to help him defeat the other two animals. Davis ordered Kate to return to the military base and say that the airstrike was cancelled. Arriving at the military base, she is detained, but then Russell helps her and together they inform her that it is necessary to cancel the strike, since there are still people and military in this part of the city. The general does not listen to them, but when he is shown footage from the city, he watches in horror Davies and the gorilla. George and Davis manage to kill the wolf, forcing him to fly into the jaws of a crocodile, which tears off his head. Then George takes a belt of grenades and throws them into the crocodile's gills dealing damage to the mutant. He switches to Davis, but he runs away and hides from the monster, but the mutant almost got to Davis, and then Gorilla appears with a spear and stabs the crocodile right in the eye, from which the crocodile has no chance to survive at all. Davis approaches the exhausted George and they communicate in sign language. Gorilla says she saved Davis. Banging his fists, Gorilla takes a break from such a duel. When the threat is neutralized, the general cancels the airstrike two minutes before dropping the bomb. Happy they think about George's new home. If you like the video and you want more similar videos, just like it, subscribe and go to my channel bro. А сейчас ты приоткрыл глаз. Мертвым прикидывался. Так. Нет, 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 ясно. Мне что-то в глаз.
Да. Э, хватит! Не знаю, что на... Вместе. Что ж, сказать точно. Не на самолете.